contact tower now on 126.0. 126.0 for one thing, that's right, thanks. Hey, it's Robert Goyer with Flying Magazine here at NBAA 2012 with David Flett from Learjet. And we're in the cockpit of the Bombardier uh, Learjet uh, 85, which of course isn't a complete airplane, we're in a mock-up of it, but the cockpit is uh, remarkably complete. David, can you tell us about the uh, flight deck here? Yeah, sure. It's uh, a global, it's the same flight deck as you'll find on our global platforms. It's the uh, Fusion platform, we call it the Bombardier Vision flight deck. Uh, what we have here is uh, large for format screens, they're 15 inch on the diagonal. They can be divided up and uh, That's numerous what you can ways. see in this uh, simulation here. Yeah, that you yeah. can divide them up. Even the PFD, you can divide up into yeah. various. Yeah. So, things. just like in your car for your radio settings, we actually, once a pilot sets it up, he can uh, store the uh, a memory setting for the configuration he wants. Now, the airplane itself is uh, going to be composite fuselage. Is that right? Uh, it's composite fuselage and it's a composite wing. Does composite using composites does that give you certain advantages to shape? It uh, gives you definite uh, shape flexibility because you base you build your tool and then you mold it exactly to what you want. Oh, fantastic! And what about the flight control system? Flight controls. We had a lot of uh, work with our focus groups made up of uh, Learjet owners, and they told us to stay with manual flight controls. What's the basic uh, performance parameters of the aircraft? So the basic parameters is 3,000 nautical miles with four people under ideal conditions. And what's the ceiling? The ceiling, are, we're going to certify to 49,000 feet. So 49, that, that, yep. that's a very high ceiling for this class of aircraft. Yep. Well, it's traditional, Learjets have always been, uh, have high ceilings. That's right. So yep. you're keeping with that tradition? Keeping with the tradition. Another Learjet tradition is, of course, speed. How fast is it going to be? 82 is the MMO. 78, real high speed for uh, cruising for long range. So the plan is to get it certified for late 13. We uh, have got the first airframe in Wichita right now. Soon we'll have the wing, we'll make that. The plan is to go power on by the end of the year and as fast as we can get it built, we'll get it in the air and start our flight test program. I understand that first flight is a carefully guarded secret at this point. Well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, we look forward to hearing what that secret is. David, uh, thank you very much from Flying Magazine. Robert Hart with David Flett from Learjet. Thank you very much.